At New Jersey American Water, our business is water and wastewater service. Each year, we invest hundreds of millions of dollars into our infrastructure to continue to provide you with safe and reliable water service. The money we use to invest in and improve our systems comes from your water bill. And when we file for a rate case, it helps us recover these costs so that we can continue to invest. A rate case is a time-intensive process in which the goal is to adjust the rate customers pay for their service to match the actual cost it takes to provide it. This ensures that our customers are paying an appropriate price for their service. Here's a general overview of seven key milestones in a rate case process. Step 1. Filing the rate case. The first step in a rate case is to file a petition with the New Jersey Board of Public Utilities that describes the request and provides the data supporting the request. The New Jersey Board of Public Utilities, or the BPU, is the decision-making body in these proceedings. It seeks to balance the interests of all parties to ensure the utilities provide safe, reliable service at reasonable prices. Step 2. The Pre-Hearing Conference Shortly after the rate case is filed, a pre-hearing conference is generally held to establish a procedural schedule, including filing and hearing dates. The utility, BPU staff, Division of Rate Council, and other interested parties participate. The Division of Rate Council is the body who reviews the details of the rate case from the customer's perspective. Step 3. Evidence The next step of the rate case is the discovery process. This allows parties to request and receive additional information, or evidence, about the company's application for new rates and the supporting data. Testimony from witnesses is submitted in advance of formal hearings. Parties can reply to each other's testimony through written rebuttal. Step 4. Public Input Hearings During the discovery process, the utility holds public input hearings. These hearings can overlap the discovery process depending on how fast discovery requests are sent out. These hearings take place throughout the company's service area to allow the utility's customers to challenge or support the rate filing. Written and oral comments become part of the record reviewed by the BPU in making a final decision. Step 5. Evidentiary Hearing if the parties cannot reach an agreement, an evidentiary hearing, over which an administrative law judge, ALJ, presides, will be held. The ALJ conducts a hearing, similar to a trial in a civil court. Witnesses are placed under oath and subject to cross-examination. These hearings are open to the public for observation, however, only witnesses for the formal parties who have pre-filed written testimony are allowed to testify and be cross-examined. If the parties do reach a settlement agreement, no evidentiary hearing takes place, and the ALJ will approve, reject, or modify the agreement through an initial decision. Step 6. Final Filings Once all evidence is in the record, the ALJ sets a briefing schedule. Briefs are legal pleadings that attempt to persuade the ALJ to accept a particular position. The ALJ will close the record after the submission of briefs and issue an initial decision. Parties may file exceptions to the initial decision. Step 7. Order. The last step is generally the BPU's final order. After exceptions and replies to exceptions are filed, the BPU will consider the initial decision and either approve, reject, or modify it. In the case of a settlement, the BPU will also approve, reject, or modify the ALJ's initial decision. The BPU's final order will specify any approved rate changes and when the rates can become effective. To recap, Utilities file for a rate case to adjust the rate their customers pay for service. The utility company, the Board of Public Utilities, the Division of Rate Council, the utilities customers, and an administrative law judge are involved throughout the process to ensure rates are just and reasonable. The BPU makes the final decision over any rate changes and when they will go into effect. Every time we adjust our base rates, we undergo this process to ensure that our customers are paying an appropriate price for their service. For more information on our rates and their approval process, visit NewJerseyAMWater.com slash rates.